Hi dear friends welcome back to curious with I am Dr Mosina Today we will discuss about an important viral disease in poultry So let's begin the topic for today infectious laryngotracheitis or ILT in poultry ILT is an acute highly contagious herpes virus infection of chicken and pheasants and it is mainly characterized by severe dyspnea coughing and rails so the disease can be acute and subacute also so the subacute form is characterized by nasal and ocular discharge tracheitis conjunctivitis and mild rails coming to the etiology the disease is caused by gallet herpes virus 1 it is also known as infectious laryngotracheitis virus or ILT virus and it has been reported from most areas of the USA in which the poultry are intensively reared as well as from many other countries the clinical findings varies between acute forms and subacute forms so in the acute forms gasping coughing rattling and extension of neck during inspiration uh, that is the pump handle respiration is seen and it is seen 5 to 12 days after the natural exposure these clinical signs are seen 5 to 12 days after the exposure here you can see broiler chickens coughing bloody exudate and gasping for air and this is the pump handle respiration which is characteristic for the severe forms of ILT the other important features other important findings for the uh, severe form are reduced productivity is a varying factor in laying flocks and affected birds are usually anorectic and inactive and mouth and beak can be blood stained from the tracheal exudate and mortality varies uh, varies but it can reach up to 50 percentage in adults and mainly due to the occlusion of trachea by hemorrhage hem, uh, by the uh, hemorrhagic exudate and signs usually subside after 2 weeks The, the clinical findings in the strains of low virulence are little or no mortality mild respiratory signs and slight decrease in egg production here you can see a picture of mild conjunctivitis due to mild form of ILT and this picture shows moderate conjunctivitis so this mild and moderate conjunctivitis and slight decrease in neck production and little or no mortality are the characteristic features of the strains of low virulence after recovery some birds uh, remain carriers for extended periods and become a source of infection for susceptible birds the latent infection can be reactivated under stressful condition and infection can also be spread mechanically Several epidemics have been traced to the transport of birds in contaminated crates and the practice of litter spread in pastures is believed to be related to the epidemics for the disease. Coming to the diagnosis, PCR and histopathology of trachea and conjunctiva are the uh, uh, diagnostic techniques used for ILT and the characteristic clinical signs in the acute form like the presence of blood mucus and loquacious exudate or a whole whole cases cast in the trachea here you can see severe hemorrhagic tracheitis with mucus due to ilt in a broiler chicken so there is blood mucus and yellow cases exudate or a whole cases cast in trachea these are all the 
findings, diagnostic findings in severe forms. And here, here you can see your hyperemic mucosa with fibrinous exudate covering trachea and it is uh, a characteristic gross ILT lesion, the severe form of the disease. So these are some of the other lesions you find in ILT. The top left picture shows crust on the eyelids caused by ILT. Top right shows a chicken with characteristic palm handle respiration with extended head and open mouth. And there is dried blood in the bird's mouth and feathers. And the bottom left shows a yellow material uh, that is blocking the opening of windpipe. And another picture shows blood in trachea. Microscopically, a disquamative necrotizing tracheitis and conjunctivitis is characteristic for uh, ILT. Here you can see the HND stained lesion which is magnified to 100x of hemorrhagic laryngitis in a layer. So you can see two arrows marked here and the arrow marked as one shows necrosis of the epithelium surface and two shows hemorrhagic infiltrate. So the desquamatum necrotizing tracheitis is a characteristic microscopic finding. And the mild forms of the disease show discrete hemorrhagic areas in the upper trachea and larynx and also mild conjunctivitis. So these pictures shows the characteristic findings in the mild forms of the disease. The left picture shows hemorrhagic areas in the uh, upper trachea and larynx and the right one shows mild conjunctivitis. A rapid diagnosis of the disease can be confirmed like by, by the detection of lesions that are pathognomonic of the infection. So these are the pathognomonic lesions in seizure formation and intranuclear inclusion bodies in the trachea and conjunctival mucosal epithelium. So this is the HND stained uh, lesion. You can see the syncytial cells containing many intranuclear inclusion bodies, cowdery type A, in the lower trachea of a chicken infected with ILT virus. Here is another picture of a trachea of a suspected with ILT stained with H and D and magnified to 400x. And you can see the left sided arrow which is showing a syncytium and uh, the arrow marked as 2 showing intranuclear inclusion bodies. The diagnosis can be rapidly confirmed by detection of viral DNA using virus specific PCR assays. Rapid and accurate diagnosis is central for the establishment of swift control measures and diagnosis is initiated by the recognition of clinical signs and gross lesions of the disease. So as we told before, laboratory diagnosis is uh, by detection of microscopic lesions characteristic of ILT replication that is a syncytial formation and intranuclear inclusion bodies and detection of viral DNA or viral antigen from virus res upper respiratory tissues and another technique is virus isolation.
then field isolates and vaccine strains of ILT virus are routinely differentiated by PCR amplification of single or multiple ILT virus genome areas. More recently, field isolates and vaccine strains have been differentiated more accurately by full genome sequencing analysis. So, full genome sequencing analysis is used to differentiate field isolates and vaccine strains. And genotyping of the virus is optional. Genotyping analysis answers whether the virus originated from previously used live attenuated vaccines or if it is related to previous outbreak strains or if it is a new field strain. Now let's see the control measures of infectious laryngotracheitis. In endemic areas, the control is mainly implemented by biosecurity measures and vaccination. Vaccination is done either with a live attenuated vaccine or viral vector recombinant vaccine. About the live vaccines, they are originated from virulent isolates that were attenuated by consecutive passages in embryos or tissue culture and these live vaccines are applied via eye drop or through mass vaccination by water or spray. And the recombinant vaccines they are the viral vector recombinant vaccines in foul pox and herpes virus of turkeys designed to express ILT virus immunogenic proteins and these are administered to individual birds by in ovo subcutaneous or wing web vaccination. Finally, let us see the key points once again. So, ILT or infectious laryngotracheitis is an acute respiratory disease of poultry. It is caused by gallet alpha herpes virus 1 or ILT virus. This is having both severe and mild presentation and the severe form shows the characteristic pump handle respiration and blood stained uh, mouth or trachea. And the rapid diagnosis is by histopathologic examination of trachea and conjunctiva where you can see the syncytial cells and intranuclear inclusion bodies and by PCR analysis. And intervention strategies for control and control are implementation of biosecurity and vaccination. So that's all about uh, this virus. And one more thing, this, this uh, virus spreads very slowly. So the important point to remember is birds can be vaccinated during an outbreak because the virus spreads very slowly. And the virus is latent, the virus stays latent in dorsal root ganglia for up to 16 months so it can it can be inactive in birds for up to 16 months in the dorsal root ganglia so that's all about ILT or infectious laryngotracheitis if the video is informative please like it and share it with your friends comment your suggestions if you are new to this channel or not subscribed yet please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get subscribed you get notified in uh, uh, when I upload another video. See you soon with another video. Thank you. Bye.